Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome to this very interesting video today. As you must be aware, I am involved in this course that is called uh, Power System Operation and Smart Grid. Um, I'm not directly uh, involved on teaching the, uh, the specific case of economic dispatch. However, I am supporting this activity and I feel that economic dispatch is a topic that requires the understanding of the problem and specifically the way to solve the problem. In my previous video, uh, in collaboration with my amazing teaching assistant, Linam, we create We create an amazing document that is uh, specifically for my students, where we um, solve this very practical problem of economic dispatch, power system operation economic dispatch of two generation units. Okay. You must remember that we use the classical paper and pen and we solve this problem using the equations and basic calculus and we obtain the active power dispatch of generator one and two that minimize the total cost of operation at the time that fulfill one constraint a quality constraint in this case the power balance equation i mean total power generation equal to the total load However, with Linam, we, 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 we try to go the extra mile. And to be honest, with Linam, I am really, really happy that we went the extra mile. And I was extremely surprised. You can see here the full name, Linam Haipan. He has been an extraordinary master student. He was my master student. And right now he is working with me as teaching assistant. And, and he pushed me the extra mile, okay? When I say to him, it's a good idea that we solve the problem of optimal dispatch. He came back with this document, but at the same time, I say to him, it will be a good idea to show the student how to do it in MATLAB. And when you have a very good engineer, a very good engineer, he can come back with several methods to solve the same problem. And if you have the power to solve the same problem with different methods, what you are showing is that you are a very good engineer and you have expertise in several tools and several methods to solve the problem. And to be honest, I was surprised, okay? I was expecting some solution from Linem, but he surprised me because he used a functionality. I know this functionality for many years, but I didn't teach him this functionality. He came back using the classical uh, tool inside MATLAB that is the symbolic mathematic. The solution one that I will show you here is extremely simple. It's following the same step that we use in the document. But here, what we are doing is taking the advantages of using symbolic variables inside MATLAB. Here you can see that this first line over here, it's saying X1, X2, and K, but basically X1 is the active power dispatch, X2 is the active power dispatch of the generator two, and K is, uh, K is equal to lambda, the incremental cost. Well, if you, def if you use this command here, seems what you are doing is creating symbolic variables inside MATLAB. Step number two, we create here the cost, the generation cost of unit one, the generation cost of unit two, okay? You, 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 you can see something quite interesting. When we execute this code, you can see here in the form of polynomial, you can see over there the cost function for generator one and generator two. That is amazing because you are using equations, but you are using equations based on symbolic mathematics in MATLAB. Okay. Step number two, 
we define the equality constraint. And the equality constraint in this problem is that the dispatch one plus the dispatch two should be equal to the total active power, 10 megawatts. In this case, P, we use the letter P to define the power balance. And this will be 10 minus dispatch of generator one minus dispatch of generator two. Step three, step three, extremely exciting, is creating the Lagrange function. And the Lagrange function is the combination of the um, cost function one, cost function two, plus lambda multiplying the power balance, okay? Or the equality constraint. Then when we are using just plain and basic mathematic, well, you apply the necessary condition for the equality constraint. And to do that, well, we need to calculate the derivative of the Lagrange function in terms of the dispatch variable PG1, PG2, but also uh, uh, based on lambda, okay? And here is where you take advantage of the symbolic mathematic, okay? Because the Lagrange function, you can see that the Lagrange function is a function of x1, x2, but also k. And here we are using just a single line, a very beautiful and single line diff, to calculate the derivative of the Lagrange function L in terms of x1. And here we obtain the first derivative term, the second derivative, and the third derivative. Okay, now what we need to do is something extremely basic. Inside MATLAB, there is a command that is called BPA solve. When you use BPA solve, what you are doing is basically solving the set of equations. And solving the equations, we will obtain x1, x2, and k. In other words, when we solve that equations, L1, L2, and L3 together, we obtain that the power dispatch of generator 1 is 6.5A megawatts. The dispatch of generation unit 2 is 3.41 megawatts. And you can, you can demonstrate that the sum is 10, the total load, and we obtain the incremental cost. In this case, the incremental cost is 14.16, okay? Finally here, what we are doing is substituting the value of x1 in the cost function one and calculating a double representation. And when we do that, we obtain that the cost, operating cost of generation or generator one is 50.42 monetary units per hour and here we get the generation cost of unit number two this is 26.55 monetary units per hour finally i am showing there that adding the cost of generator one and generator two during the operation i will obtain the 76.97 monetary units per hour okay you can go and compare with the previous video or your hand calculations, and you will see that this is beautiful. We obtained the same number. But later I asked uh, Linam to add one more way to solve the problem because we are engineers. And because we have the skill, we have the knowledge, we can do this, why not? This is, this is interesting that for this problem, we are showing three different ways to solve the same problem. And to be honest, this is a very different way to do it. Inside, inside MATLAB, there is a optimization toolbox. And inside that optimization toolbox, you can solve minimizing problems, optimization problem to minimize a function. And well, I discuss with Linam and we say, okay, let's do that. The first step is creating the cost function. And you can go to my previous video and you can watch over there, but this line over here, number 19, is showing in terms of X1 and X2, the total cost function of the system where X1 and X2 
represent the economic dispatch of generator one and generator two. One of the situation with FMICON is that FMICON is a numerical method. As a consequence, you need a initial condition to solve the problem. For that reason, for the vector ETS, and the vector VETS represent the optimization variables, the control variables, well, we define two um, uh, initial conditions, okay? Initial conditions can be any value. We put over there 0 0.5 and 0, and that's all, okay? Step number three, FMICON is a very complete mathematical functionality that allows to use inequality and equality constraints. In the step number three, what we are saying is we don't have inequality uh, constraints for that reason, the matrix A and the vector B, they are equal to empty. On step number four, we are defining the um, equality constraint that we have in this problem. In this problem, we have one equality constraint that is the power balance, x1 plus x2 minus 10 equals zero. In other words, x1 plus x2 equal 10 megawatts. We represent that in matrices and the matrix A will be a 1-1, one, one, and the vector B will be a single value scalar that will be the power demand, the total power demand in megawatts, 10 megawatts, okay? Finally, the last, the last situation here is using this amazing function, fmincon. Fmincon is a function that requires some arguments, requires the objective function, requires the initial conditions, the matrices for the equality constraint, the matrices for the inequality constraints, and so on, okay? There are more parameters. I will not go here in details. This is not a video about MATLAB, but when we solve this using Fmincon, we obtain X1 and X2. And X1 and X2, they represent, they represent 6.58 and 3.41. This is the economic dispatch that we obtained in the past using the hand calculation and using the symbolic mathematic. And here you can see the cost of running those generator and the cost of the total system. And again, the total generation cost of this system is 76.97 monetary units per hour, okay? And in this case, I say monetary uh, units because uh, depending on the country that you are, the monetary unit can be in, in the UK, is British pounds, or if the, you are in the US, it will be US dollar, or if you are in continental Europe, it will be euros, okay? Okay, but... I am really amazed about this video because with the help of clever people, you can do a brilliant job. In this case, we create or we solve the problem in different methods using different tools and different approaches, and the solution is the same. It's amazing that in this live script, we use two methods to solve the same problem. And we do it because we have the skills. And we can show that you can solve the problem using many methods and the result will be the same. And this is special for all the people watching these videos, okay? Try to think in outside the box. If you can, if you have control and understanding of those simulation software, those calculation software, you will be able to solve any problem. And that is the huge message here. Don't constrain your brain. Don't constrain your, your life. Open your mind. Explore what must be explored and go beyond. Go further. Put the extra mile, okay? Well, this is all for this video and I will finish this video right now because I have another things to do, but it, it has a pleasure being here with all of you and showing what we have done. There is a final message here for all of you that they are fans of Dixil and Power Factory. Because the last video of this very specific example is Solving the problem using Dixil and Power Factory. Inside Power Factory, you can solve uh, economic dispatch and many other problems, and not much people talk about that. 
in the final video of this series, I will be showing you how to, we can use Power Factory, the excellent Power Factory and solve this problem. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel or leave a message on, on, the, on the place below, comments, or also drop an email. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you at the next video. Bye now.